BYD Electric Cars Coming to Canada China's largest electric car maker is already in Mexico. Now, it's looking at Canada. China's largest electric car company is coming to Canada. Well, yesterday, we saw on official evidence that BYD was preparing to enter the Canadian market. Today we have official confirmation, albeit buried in a separate press release. In a joint press release from Uber and BYD, the two companies announced a new partnership to offer Uber drivers discounts and special financing for BYD electric cars. That alone is big news, with the goal of bringing 100,000 new BYD electric cars to Uber's network. But in the first paragraph of the release, there's an interesting point about the expansion plan's emphasis mod. China's Global Electric Car Push China is paying close attention to its electric car sector, and that foresight is paying off. Chinese companies make some of the most affordable, advanced, durable, and innovative electric cars on the planet. Europe and the U.S. feel threatened by what they claim are overly subsidized EVS and have imposed tariffs designed to protect their homegrown automakers from Chinese competition. Most of that doesn't really matter. BYD already offers electric cars in the Middle East, Australia, and New Zealand. But the company doesn't sell passenger vehicles in Canada. BYD sells buses there, as it does in the U.S., but the company's competitive consumer electric vehicles aren't available in the north. However, those cars are sold in Mexico, so BYD clearly has serious intentions for the North American vehicle market, even if a 100% U.S. tariff on Chinese EVS would force it out of the continent's biggest market. But if BYD can build enough production in Mexico or Canada, the company could choose to build vehicles in both markets. Because of the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement, there are no tariffs on vehicles imported into the U.S. from either market. Importantly, however, vehicles cannot simply be assembled in Mexico or Canada from foreign source parts. At least 75% of the vehicle's value must come from parts and materials sourced from the U.S., Mexico, or Canada. That would leave BYD without a sizable Chinese battery supply chain if it wants to take advantage of free trade with the U.S. Building a North American supply chain would be a costly undertaking for the auto giant and could erode its cost advantage over U.S. automakers. Such a large outlay could also be a risk for BYD, as there is uncertainty over whether production in Mexico or Canada will be enough to protect it from the scorn of American politicians. The Biden administration is reportedly pressuring Mexico to refuse to offer incentives to Chinese companies looking to build factories in the country, according to Reuters. These incentives are the subject of deals with other automakers, with Mexico spending big to get companies like GM and Volkswagen to build cars there.